Hey guys, Maxi Kill here again uh, with another video for you guys. Uh, sorry if I sound a little weird. It's early in the morning, but not too early. I have been awake for a bit now, so I should be fine. But if I sound off a little, that might be why, so I apologize. But um, yeah, first things first, I just want to apologize, guys, for not uploading for the last two days. I have been a little bit busy. I have things to do, so I was not able to upload for you guys. But I do have recordings, so there will be more after this entire first segment of the video which is going to be me getting into the raid and just talking a little bit about some things i don't know i'm probably going to level my armors but that's really it and yeah i have uh like chest openings and things like that but um as you can see here the raid's about to start 10 more seconds and we will get right into it guys so let's do this let me know what you guys are doing for the raid and what's your guys' lineup and things like that uh, you'll see my lineup right now. Uh, not the best lineup, so level two is right here. Yeah. Uh, I am gonna be using an armor that gets a uh, double elemental damage done to itself. Reason being, it's one of my strongest armor. So here's my lineup here. If you guys are curious, not the best, like I said, but uh, that second armor I kind of want to use it because I have really no other strong air armors to fight against this. The only other one I have is uh, Water and Air, and that's an Epic, and not even a Dragon Forged. I had just gotten the one from Heroic, but I have not even bothered leveling it yet because I've been working on the Water and Earth Shadow Forged. So there's that right now, but I'd rather use the Shadow Forged anyways because even if it's taking double damage, it does still have that stun chance. So a little better for me. I mean, let's see how it does. I'm sure I'll be able to solo it mainly because of the Air and Earth armor. I might attempt to level 3 right now just to see how I do on it, depending on how much health my last guy finishes the boss off with. But let's see. Uh, if you guys notice as well, here on my uh, amulet, on the Fire and Earth bo uh, boss armor, I did get that amulet to max level. Now I need to max ascend it, but I did unlock the stun chance with one of those, so that armor should be stunning a little more frequently now. Yeah, not too much health, so I don't think I'm going to be going for a level 3, sadly. Once I get my tier 4 Earth Pet, I will definitely be going for that. Uh, tier 4, 4 star, because as you can see here, I have a tier three, tier 4, 4 star Wind Pet, but my Earth one is, level th is tier 3. I have one tier 3 to put into it, uh, these two tier 2s, but I'm about to get more tier 1s, so then I can level up that monster. I mean monster, that pet. And then that pet will be giving uh, another tier 3 soon enough. But I am still going to need another tier 3 after that. So probably another 2-3 raid events. And I am pretty sure I will have that tier 4. But for now I'm not going to be hitting level 3s until I get that tier 4. Because that's going to help a lot definitely. Everybody's made videos on it. And most people can confirm that the tier 4 is a big step up compared to the tier 3 because of that leech life ability so amazing but um for now yeah i'll just be hitting level 2 is not too bad but i want to see the change in my damage when i get that tier 3 pet but we'll see once it gets closer for now we're not going to be doing too bad but again most of you guys have let me know already but if you're new to the channel thank you for subscribing first off if you have if you haven't you're just watching this that's fine uh, let me know how you're doing on the raid bosses because I'm sure you, most of you guys, I mean, people were already telling me that their damage output is way higher than me. I'm sure you're gonna, most of you guys are going to be hitting level 3s, possibly level 4s, and I'm sure there's most of you guys out there too that are hitting 5s and 6s. So let me know what you guys are doing and how much you guys are doing. Uh, what's your lineup? Are they Dragon Forged, Shadow Forged, Epics, if you're really even doing that? I don't know how many of you guys are fighting with Epics, but I mean, most of you guys that aren't paying for the game, I'm sure you guys are going to be having Epics. So let me know what your guys' lineup is, and how do you feel about this raid? I mean, how many of you guys are even pushing for it? I know uh, I am in an alliance, if any of you guys are curious. I know in my alliance, not many guilds are pushing, so as of right now, they're just... I saw in the line chat they were talking about it. They're just saying they're gonna chill for now, so they're just going uh, free to play raid this weekend. So nobody's really gonna be jamming. Not bad. That was a good amount of stun chance this time, but how often does that happen, right? 
up. Sorry, guys. Burped a little. So, three bosses down. On to the next one. Let me actually look at the rewards really quick. So, uh, five more. I don't think I'm going to be able to get out here, but we'll see. Uh, I am down on gems right now. I have not hit 100 gems yet. I just spent about 100 two days ago, I believe. No, I was actually yesterday in the morning. I had my friend over, and I I seen there was a chest with the Titan Yield Mail Ring and Amulet set, and I truly want that amulet set. Obviously, you guys can tell my third armor is the Titan's Yield Mail. I got it. It's the plus version. And I just wish I had that Ring and Amulet set, but I don't have the gems to be spending on that chest to, you know, try as many times as I want for it, and I'm not going to be spending money on the game to just open a chest either so sadly i won't be getting that ring and amulet set but i did get a set for a dragon forge and i got one for the feathered uh robes but i forgot what exactly it's called but the fire and air one that was in heroic so i wish i'd gotten the ring and amulet set for that as well but i guess one for now is better than nothing hopefully i get the other one soon but we'll see about to get my first four star pet not bad not bad uh, sorry guys just a little tired like I said uh, let me actually hit it with my second account and see how much damage my second account does but um I'll show you guys to you right now where my guild finished in the war uh, that be shank blitz we didn't really try I mean as most of you guys out there I'm sure I'm sure a lot of you guys tried for it I mean if you were if you had B shanks already I'm fairly certain you tried for it because I I have one B shank that I've got in from a chest previously, and I was thinking about starting this gem for the B shanks to get another shadow forged. Oh, sorry, that's my alliance guys. Oh, well, one of my members actually he uh sent me a message, and uh, I will be um putting his friend cone at the end of this video that actually reminds me, so I will get that for you guys. Uh, I will probably put in an annotation or something for you guys, but um. Yeah, I will be putting that for you guys. He messaged me. So, uh, again, if anybody wants to add me on Knights and Dragons, uh, I did make a video with my guild and my uh, Knights and Dragons account. Uh, 50,000, not bad on my second account. But I did make a video with my uh, friend code and my uh, guild name. So, if anybody's looking to add me, you can totally do that. But uh, I also said that if anybody's willing to add me to help me in the next heroic or add, have anybody else add them, you want to give me your friend code and I put in my videos so someone can add you in the future, then uh, that's totally fine. Message me online, give me your friend code, add me, and then if I don't have space, I still have friends right now, like friend space. But in the future, if I don't have friend space, just send me a message online, give me your friend code, give me your in-game name. I will put you in one of my videos, and I will announce that people want, uh, they, that you're allowing people to add you to help uh, help them out in the heroic. So, like I said, I will put it in this video uh, sometime throughout the video. I will do that for you guys. So, uh, like I said, someone already messaged me, and they're willing to um, have anybody add them if you'd like to add him. Uh, it's actually two different accounts. He said he has his main account. Okay, update required for him. Uh, he has two different accounts, so his main account, I will give that code, and I will say his in-game name. And then he has a second account that apparently he shares with others that uh, he will, I will put that as well. But yeah, it's not his alone, so he says it's a little stronger. Uh, I might have to message him, though, because I don't think I have it, but I'll, I'll let you guys know. And yeah, I mean, soon enough I'm going to be done attacking right now, because sadly I'm not doing as much damage as I would like. Like I said, once I get that tier 4 pet, I think I'll be able to be doing level 3s constantly, but we'll see. Mm -hmm. uh, soon enough, I'm going to be getting that ring to max level, but to ascend it, I still need silver coins. Oh, I need silver coins for everything now that I got Shadow Forged armors. I have not maxed out any of these Shadow Forged armors in Ascension, sadly. They are getting there, but still a ton more coins to throw in kind of sad but what can you do right all right let's see uh give me a sec sorry guys all right guys sorry about that my mom was uh asking me something right now but uh yeah oops somebody already hit this one let's see uh, one of my 
other friends. Damn it, and my brother and one of one of my subscribers on YouTube. So, I mean, I don't mind, but I kind of need to attack max raid bosses, max out health, because if not, I'm wasting my attack. Sadly, yeah, just sucks for me like that. But like I said, if I could start hitting tier threes, that'd be totally fine. I don't mind that. But let's see. For now, we'll get right into this. So last attack for now. If you guys want to see more raid attacks, uh, comment after this video is done. You know, once it's uploaded and everything. So comment, please. Let me know. Because I don't know how long it's going to take me to edit this. I'm probably going to be attacking some more. But let me, some, let me know, guys. So that way, I will probably record the attacks for you guys. And if you guys want to see all the attacks again, I will make another video like I did in one of the previous, one of my previous videos. So let me know. Like I said, comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see more raid attacks. And I will get that for you. But if you guys don't want to, then I mean, this will be just the video I upload for today. Uh, I will probably make a video tomorrow. I will do my best to. No guarantees. I may be busy, like I said. But um, I'll do my best to because I did. I, uh, sorry. I did in the past say that I was going to make videos for you guys to. Oh, what the? Sorry. I was trying to see. Someone summoned one, I assume. Yeah. They don't finish them off. Cool, guys. <laughs> probably my brother he tends to do that a lot let me just finish that off on my second account really quick so if you guys hear clicking sorry i still need to work on the mic sensitivity i don't know how it picks it up even when i'm talking but uh whatever we'll see with that but um like i was saying uh wait what <laughs> lost my train of thought really quick sorry trying to think really quick i make i tend to make noises when i'm thinking um Ah, uh, gosh, I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. I don't know. Uh, dang it, what did I, I forgot. No idea, my bad, guys. <laughs> Was it my gems? No, because I already talked about that, but I'm down to 60 gems right now, so I did open it, like I said. Let me see if they still have the chest. Mm -hmm. It doesn't look like they do, sadly. Oh, well. Do they? No, they don't. They already got rid of the chest. Well, then. Let's open 11 keys really quick. Sorry if you guys want to see this. Just trying to see if I get gems. Nope. Fusion boost, though. Uh, let's actually level up my fusion, my Shadow Forge for you guys really quick. So, did let make a video for you guys. It didn't get to this level that it's currently at right now. I got it to um, level, like, around 60. So, I've been doing a little leveling on my own time. Oh, what the heck? On my own time. So this is more leveling for you guys, but uh, I did level it on my own time, like I said, so you guys won't see the full leveling of it. And i still pretty sure it's going to take a while too, so give me a sec, guys. Alright guys, I apologize again. My mom, again, came asking me a question. Uh, my family doesn't, they're not too used to me recording and things like that, so it's kind of hard for me to make a constant video with my family around, because sometimes they you know will ask me questions or have me do something and I mean they don't realize that I'm recording so that's something that I kind of need to get used to I need to let them know in the future but um yeah uh so if the video jumps a bit I apologize <laughs> it's just the editing and I tend to forget to pause the recording on my phone because it's two separate recorders so that's a little bit my fault but yeah so I'll do my best to like try and not get the video too crazy but it should flow with it though but uh, either way, like I was saying, yeah, my armor, it's not going to be maxed right now, as you can tell, level 82 out of 99, but I didn't get a full recording either, so, but it's almost there, actually, 5,500, 4,100, so it's defense, still weaker than this armor, but then again, I have different ring and amulet, so the fact that it's attacks higher and is getting close in defense isn't bad, as you can tell, the health is way higher as opposed to this one, so that's actually really good, but, um, yeah, really quick, Guild War then, let's get into that. So uh, my guild finished 518 in that Blitz. We were within the top 500, but my guild, uh, we dropped that at the end. I, I didn't really want to fight. Uh, I got kind of, I hit, I hit a milestone that I wanted, and I didn't really want to be pushing anymore for the like last 2-3 hours, so I kind of just let it go. But um, here, top 5 guild, let's see, we had the Crazy Paul. Smallville, The Dark Nuts Rise, Master of Puppets, and War Incorporated. Congrats to you, top five guilds. Dang. 
I wish I was part of it. And then the other six through ten, we have the Dark Judgment group, the group Q Mall Millionaires Club, the Legends, and Loke City. So, congratulations to all you guys who made it out there. I wish I was part of it, but yeah, here's where I finished in the milestones. I got the ten gems. That's all I wanted. I wanted to go for twenty, but I don't war enough for twenty-four hours. That's kind of hard to get to there. So, whatever. But I got a few ring, few uh, fusion boost ring and amulets. So not bad. Uh, I lost two fights out of the entire ones that we did, so we did 11 wars. Like, two or three I did not fight, though, because my guild would declare without me declaring. So, I mean, I don't blame them. Sometimes I'm busy throughout the day, so I don't have time to declare, but then I don't always have time to fight because maybe I had just declared once, and then I have no energy to declare again. So that kind of sucks, but... Oh, well, but that's pretty much it for now. Uh, this, apparently people were taking advantage of the milestones in the game, so... Yeah, well, I don't know what to say about that, but at least they're taking advantage of it. I mean, they're not taking it. They're taking initiative now, and they're, you know, controlling that. All right, my guild's still doing it. And then, yeah, the new uh, epic boss. Uh, this armor has been seen before, obviously. Most of you guys already know, but uh, as of right now, I'm at 51. I'm only using two knights, but I did need to start a little early. The last one I got really, really close to 100. I was only using uh, my air and earth one for a majority of the time until I got to like here. Then I needed two knights, and then I used them all the way to like 90 something. But again, I had taken two or three days off from the raid. I mean, epic boss because of heroic, so I didn't get to really take full advantage of it. But oh well, next time though, guys. But yeah, so that's the first part of this video. So. I'm going to switch over and start doing some editing now and then stitch the videos together. So for you guys, it's just going to all be one video. But for me, uh, I will talk to you guys later because I need to do that editing. And then I will put it together and record for you guys. So for now, it's the end of this video, guys. And I'll talk to you guys later. So take care. All right, guys. Mexico here back again with the second part so sorry I just said that until later you know because for you guys it's like two seconds for me it's been about three four hours now since I did that first part so yeah but here we're going straight into the leveling of my armor so the Clipsedra Brass Gear Plus that I had just gotten so I don't get it maxed out sadly I have I'm still working on it currently from the first part you just saw so yeah, but I'm going to get it up to about like 60 to, I think 67 more or less, but let's see. So just using all my fodder that I have, so I really don't care. I had a bunch of gold. I still have like 8 million gold right now, so I had 18 there. I donated about 10 mil to my guild so we can get another bonus in, and I'm at 8 mil still. So as of right now, gold's not a problem to me. I'm not really getting too many armors, so... Uh, yeah, we're just I'm just working on this now, so we're gonna keep going. It's still gonna take a bit to get all this two star and one star fodder out of the way, so just give it a little bit. I I, I like using it. I don't want to just go straight into fusion boost because I don't have a lot, so that kind of sucks for me. But yeah, here we are going straight into it. Uh, now we're getting into two star armor, so that's good. Uh, I did use that first. I should have used my earth one, so oh well. Um, but yeah. It's not bad stats, but around 56, I mean, uh, around 60 or so when I finished this video. The stats still aren't better than my Dragon Forge uh, just yet. It's not a plus, but it's not better than it yet just for the fact that my Dragon Forge is completely maxed. So the armor does get better than it. Like, as of where I have it now, it is better. But here, it does not get better than those stats yet. So, yeah, I've already passed the stats on my Dragon Forge now. Uh, what level is my armor? It is 84 out of 99, so it has passed it. And I have different rings and amulets, so on my knights, it does have different stats. The defense is weaker and the attack is stronger, as you probably saw in the first part. I did show that, so uh, barely about to hit 30, so we're going to hit the third evolution of it. So it still looks eh, decent, but it does get evolved soon enough. I think at 35, I believe, yeah, at 35 it evolves, so still second stage form right now it's about to hit third stage so here we go keep going two more levels because it's like temper like 10 xp away from it so yeah oh never mind okay here it's gonna hit 35 okay i guess not still like a tiny bit more and here we go third evolution wait what 
I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. I'm so bad at this game. I could have sworn it was third evolution, but let's see. Let's see where it hits it at. Because I could have sworn it was at 35 they used to do it. But I guess they changed it up now. I think it's around 40, 45. But let's see. I haven't done leveling in so long. And I don't even pay attention to the evolutions. I'm usually just going for it. So I started, I was just checking. Still had a good amount of fodder left to put into it. So let's see how much it starts. Here it's going to start leveling a little bit faster now. But it's still not that fast. So that kind of sucks. But... Here, I'm, I'm going to start going a little bit slower, too, because I'm trying to pick out the elements that actually go into it once I get to the epic armors, because I have a bunch of epics, and some aren't the elements, and some are. So here, I'm picking the elements that aren't giving it an element boost, and then I'm going to put the ones that do give it an element boost later on. So, yeah, so as you see there, the, none of these armors are going to give it an element boost, but they're still going to give it uh, level up XP, so... That's what I want, but I don't want to waste the extra elemental XP boost yet because if I do that, then, you know, uh, it's not going to level up as fast. So level 50, sorry guys, I am way off. I remember legendaries used to be level 35, so level 50 is where it hits the third stage. So here it's 53 currently, about to hit another level. Now I'm going to start putting fusion boost into it. I do use the spear ones because, I mean, I don't have many armors to level up so whatever element i get i will put it into it but i put like i said those without element boost first and then the element boost later on so then it can give more xp towards it so here we're using the last bit of armor that i get and i said around 67 but I, yeah i think maybe let's see it's just barely gonna get there i don't use this last three fusion so 65 I was going to use the last three, but I decided not to because I wanted to keep it even so like it gets full. Once you get it to where the each armor that you put into it costs um, 30,000, that's when it's like max and it doesn't matter that you what element, like how many armors you put into it. But if it's less than that, where if you put four and it's not at 120,000 gold yet, then you still have, you know, more leveling to do. So you don't want to waste the, ele uh, the, the XP because it's going to cost more if you put more in less into it. And level it up before it gets to 120,000k per four armor. So 30,000 per one armor. Alright, now we're going to get into the next part of the video. Here I open uh, some spider keys for you guys. Oh no, this is actually, yeah, the jewelry flashback chest. So here, I was with a friend and he told me just do it. You know, Nike. No, I'm just kidding. But he said, he was like, go for it, bro. Do it. And I was like, oh, I'm going to regret this. And I regretted it deeply. So nothing but legendaries. I don't even get any Dragon Forge, Ringer, Amulets, or Shadow Forge. So that really sucked. But I mainly I opened this because I was going for the Titans Yield Mail Ring and Amulet. But as you can tell, I utterly failed and I was super disappointed. But uh, I'm getting back up in gems now. I'm at about 60 right now. So this was yesterday. I did get those two for the Ring and Amulet set for the Far Gazers, but I don't have that armor. So who knows if in the future I'll get it? And then here I got the Feathered Blitz for uh, the Feathered. Um, Five wind robes i believe it's called and then here i do spy here's the spider keys so the very first spider key opening here uh i think this is the one before that one that i got like six pieces let's see no okay this one i get this is the most pieces i've ever gotten in a sh in a spider key opening so i believe it's about six pieces so two right there i got a dragon coin and a sylvanas gem then i forget what this one's called and i got two of these in a row so you'll see here so two right there so that's five pieces already and i think that's eight keys nine 10 and i got a dark prince key so that was that was cool i've never gotten one out of that usually you just get enchanted key so five pieces here dragon coin sylvanas gem oh uh sorry i wasn't about to end it but i was looking through it aegis plate agni horn and agni horn so that's for the uh agnes fire robes i believe it's called but it's the dual fire um shadow forge so that's not bad but i still need a bunch more so here I end it and then go into this other one. So this one I had just done yesterday. Uh, I get about three pieces, I think. So some Aeolian crests and then a bunch of enchanted keys, obviously. I think I do get a Sylvanas gem as well in here. Let's see. I don't, I'm not fully sure, but we'll see. But I think I get three pieces. So I got a bunch of enchanted and I was kind of like freaking out. I'm like, am I really just going to get one this 11? But I got this piece as well. So I got that in the last one. And then the manipulator stopwatch. So that goes into the manipulator of time, not the manipulator eternal. Which kind of disappoints me because I have the ring and amulet for the manipulator eternal. But oh well. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Oh, here, actually, I cut out parts of it. But this I opened on my second account was a pet chest. Uh, you're going to see everything at the end. I'm going to scroll through it. But I have used a recorder that had, like, a, a watermark. So that's why it's, like, 
cut up but that's the end of the video guys uh, if you like the video like it subscribe if you guys want to see more and until next time max you out take care